You see this this middle dark tree with most of the birds are in? Mm -hmm. So you take the middle tree, yep. build a nest. There's a dead branch that's kind of coming towards us and down to the right. There's a bird sitting on it about halfway. Yeah, that's so directly that's underneath nice. it, there's a crack in the mud and a hole. Yeah, yeah, I you see. You can see the little head of the, leg, of the baby Legavon sticking out there. You know the water monitor, the Legavon, that small, uh, that lizard? What the hell you got there? Yeah, it's just pretty... Is it very deep? Not this side, maybe out towards the middle of the dam. I don't think it's too deep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm One way to tell sometimes is their necks. The males often have a thicker neck. See his neck is, I don't know if you agree, but slightly thicker for fighting. Very you know, he's got to be strong and muscular. He's quite a short male. He's bigger than he does. Huh? He's shorter, more compact. He's, yeah, he's built more, his body's more for fighting, whereas he's just to carry on inside it. Funnily enough, this is a previous calf that has now rejoined her. Okay. You don't always see them together, but occasionally he'll come and spend time with her. This is the dominant bull of the area. I think he's got designs on that female, but every time he gets close, she gets a little bit aggressive. But I mean, to, to see interaction between black rhinos is... John, she, she is heading towards that other road, so maybe if we go up there and wait there... Sort of goes away, so we will be very, we'll be very far away. Yeah, we can't off road on the plains here. Yeah. Do you see how sharp her horn is compared to that, that dominant bull? This is razor sharp. Well, considering all the clouds, we've actually been quite lucky with this. Yeah. Mm. This light's perfect. Little hole in the sky, though. Jala, Jala, can I have a quick update on Harrogate? Patience pays off. Yeah. We've got a tiny little gap in the clouds, just as they are right next to us. I mean, we're so lucky there. No, lighting is good. He's a right tiny little thing, isn't he? Look through these, you really get to see them. I mean, you can see every little detail of that lip. The most beautiful lip in nature. Right? It's like a little oh. trunk sign. Sorry. Cool. Yeah. It's amazing how they use it like a little finger to manipulate those branches. It's almost prehensile. Yeah, it's almost like a it's like a rudimentary tip of an elephant's trunk. I was going to say, it almost looks like it used to be a trunk in one, one time or another. No, like mm. Well, you know the Indian elephant's only got one tip to its trunk, one little finger. The African elephant's got two. It can use them like a little hand. Uh, okay. Pick up a single marula yeah. fruit. But she is really enjoying one. I can't see what tree it is. It looks like a gardenia maybe.
inside of their mouth, very pink in. On the inside, look at this little youngster here. Yeah. Just telling Tim and Rachel, that big concave in their back. You know, the white line is a bit of light blue. This, I mean, there's almost a big saddle. Yeah. You know? And of course, a much more compact head, you know, because they browse the whole time. They yeah. don't have that long, elongated head of the white line. And of course, the lip, I mean, you know, that. Little ears, kidney shaped, whereas the white rhinos are sort of wavy shaped. Big thick neck muscles from constantly browsing them, you know, look like oyster runt almost. Big shoulders. Rhinos can recognize individuals from the different smells of their urine. And if he was out by himself and he, he came across that and he smelled that, he would know it was this female she is in her sexual cycle, how long ago she was there. Oh, he's scenting again. Yeah, look, he's scenting over it now, just in case another male comes into the area. Picks up the scent of the female, it'll get the scent of that dominant bull. No, look, there's, there's trouble. Entirely. You saw the one doing it last night, too. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> Palette cleanser almost. Look at that. He's, I think he's, it's a, no, it's called the Fleming, yeah, Fleming Grimace when he picks up the scent of, a, of something else. They sort of, see other animals doing it, they, they bunch up their nostrils like this and it opens a passageway to the Jacobson organ, which has a link directly to the brain, gives them a very accurate scent. previous yeah, calf that the, he was banished to the wilderness when she had a new calf and he just got lonely and he's not you know when he when he first joined his mother and the youngster again she used to chase him and I oh. think he just so he just relented you know he just hated being by himself after three years of being with his mother suddenly he was alone for the first time getting chased around by dominant bulls so he came back chased off by his mother and I think he just hung around hung around and and eventually she eventually she, she, she sort of relented. she's becoming more accepting you know, the, the older the calf gets. Got that male to lift his head up for me. I'll give him the contact call. <laughs> What's that? to see her in that sort of position. She's, she's a monstrous lioness. She's got very she's good got genetic good face, face. Very good genes. I mean, her, her first litter, her two daughters, are enormous lions. Those are the ones that are hiding somewhere near the lodge at the moment. Right. Remember where we saw those impala running and I said, yeah. look, it could be these. Yeah, look, look, here, here they come. Yeah. I heard the call. Like you said, John, great vantage point. I mean, she'll be able to see what's going on in the plains. Yeah. You know, she'll see where, exactly where game is. Probably as it gets dark, you'll find she'll come down and hunt in these burnt areas. Because, you know, hunting these burnt areas in the daytime is just, there's no cover. She seems to be looking almost directly over us. She flops down again, I think we'll carry on. But let's, let's just wait and see what she does. Oh, oh, she's, oh, she's gone down. Good.